Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your weekly reading for the week of the 7th, going to the 16th, 16th, 13th, jeez, maybe 16th is important, um, of September. So, going into this week, it is a deep one for a lot of people, I hope it's a little bit different for you guys, but we shall see. Um, one big message that Spirit really wanted me to say for all my fire signs today was to ask for help when you need it, okay? So maybe some of you are quite stubborn. Maybe you kind of like to do things by yourself. You don't like to ask people for help. Uh, this is going to be a really good time for you to see that help is there for you if you need it. You are not alone on the journey that you are in. You do have people around you. You just need to speak up, okay, when it's necessary. And I do feel like there are people around you who will help, okay? So just to see that, even if it's just spirit, make sure you say it because the angels cannot help you if you are not asking. So maybe be a bit more clearer with how you speak to spirit as well. Anyways, I'm going into your reading for the week please spirit what can you tell me for Sagittarius very nice we have lead okay again it has been a theme recently of kind of being in that middle stage of trying to make things happen trying to take leadership um so we aren't in that complete emperor role just yet but we're taking it on um one thing I want to say if you guys struggle with manifestations a very big tip I can say which relates to your reading is to already act like you have it if you need money already act and be grateful for it as if you already have it okay saying your thanks for it um the otherwise I, it's just weird how the universe works if i'm being honest with you they kind of you need to be present in that moment to say thank you for like this and thank you for gifting me this like money or thank you for gifting me this opportunity in order for you to receive it so i just wanted to say that for those of you when it actually comes down to leadership roles if you are wanting something here again uh when it comes down to more control over certain areas of your life or more knowing or more wisdom for some of you is what i'm hearing uh it's really about already feeling like you've got it taking on that emperor role here of actually saying do you know what i've got a plan this is do you see what i mean it's all to do with how you view yourself for some of you guys it's kind of like you have a plan but you're not seeing yourself in that light yet you're not acting like the boss you're not acting like do you see what i mean you need to start acting like it does that make any sense i hope i know i'm saying it so vaguely so maybe this is just for loads of different things but you need to start acting like it is what i'm saying if you want to be a worldwide singer or dancer act like it you see what i mean give yourself that pump <laughs> whatever that means <laughs> give yourself that boost is what i mean to say um there is going to be a bit of movement within this week now it could be to do with i'm hearing like someone might move your emotions so uh, you could feel quite like emotional within this week but it can also mean there's a lot of like heartfelt uh, emotions very interesting very heartfelt emotions or just something that is yeah maybe you are moving maybe someone you know is moving i don't know right let's see one more please moving on while well, someone's moving you could just be moving on with your emotions by the way again how you used to view yourself um you're in a journey of it is they're saying that that you're in a journey of it you are moving towards this emperor role and as i said before you're not quite where you want to be uh, but you need to act like it to be, to be able to step into that energy a lot quicker so if that's something you wanted to hear and <laughs> needed to hear sorry then that is definitely what's coming up for you guys but lead as I've already explained that one, writing up a plan is also very good for you. Rewriting it is another thing. I think we need to kind of go over certain details and actually give yourself more because for some of you, you're kind of, you're settling for less. No, we're aiming for some big things here, Sagittarius. So make sure you're writing those down as part of your journey. Uh, we have the move card. And as you can see, these are two hands coming together. So maybe you're deepening a connection with someone here, Sagittarius. Maybe you're wanting to feel love, if that makes any sense. That you're wanting to be moved by, by love. Uh, you're wanting someone to really go above and beyond for you. Maybe people in the past haven't really done that. Maybe it was just you doing that. And this is the week of where you're really understanding what it is that you want and this is also my card of co-creation with spirit too very interesting because those of you you might be meeting a soulmate within this week okay as you can see their hands are kind of tied together it feels like a soul contract for me or maybe you're ending a soul contract for, for those of you as well it's a very strong deep soul contract um, but using uh, co-creating with spirit will actually really help you if you are cutting off any ties uh 
emotionally we're walking away from things that don't serve us anymore old mindsets old people okay things that we're doing more damage to our emotions than we're actually picking them up and which relates me back to this card actually this week we're actually healing a lot to do with our heart it feels like you could be getting some sort of healing done by someone or getting help by someone again ask for help this could be anything to do with therapy or just a really good friend that's there for you uh who can actually listen to you uh when you when you need to Oh god, Leo had this as well. Alright, we have the tower card. Why is the tower card here, please? Interesting. So it's divine intervention, but we then have a few cards that come out with it. So maybe it's shocking to find happiness here, Sagittarius. What? The tower card is really about things falling away is what i want to say there's some things falling away um in order for us to achieve happiness now the worst thing that you can do in the situation sagittarius is to kind of see the tower and think well this is it then uh, and and not actually see what is coming from this because either you have a knowing of what this can bring or you just maybe you jump to conclusions too quick is what i want to say as well because this this ten of cups is really about happiness this is to do with family this is to do with love in general all right being able to share happiness with other people um but because it's with the tower card there's almost like a surprise or a shock to the family within something that's causing you to make some sort of decision it doesn't have to be family though it could be to do with your emotions here was this two of pentacles yeah hierophant hierophant so this could be to do with your commitments here all right okay um so i'm seeing a 50 50 outcome do i stay or do i go is this going to bring me happiness or is this going to cause me a downfall you're really having to make a decision about what you are committing to for those of you you're kind of looking at uh contracts that you've got okay what's causing more of a loss this feels like a win or a lose situation which is interesting a win or a lose there is something in your life that is bringing things like bringing you down and it's also other things here that's picking you up or this could be an outcome of a choice of yours you could pl be planning on moving for some of you sagittarius the hierophant is really about seeking professional advice okay seeking advice seeking order structure here is needed within this week and that could help you with making a decision and the two of pentacles trying to weigh up whether this is going to be for your greatest good or not because i feel like you want happiness out of this whatever you're trying to make a decision on you want happiness from it whether it means you're leaving a job and going into a new one whether you are um you know le moving homes and deciding whether or not you actually want to stay or actually go uh, whether it's a partnership do i stay or do i go in this because you ultimately want this ten of cups energy of course you do you want happiness you want fulfillment you want to be able to celebrate that not just by yourself but with other people okay so community does actually mean a lot more to you than you may have really let on in the past the only thing is here, Sagittarius, is that there is a risk involved with this tower card. There is a risk that something might not go the way that you want it to. Um, but I think you know of this already. Okay? Um, you know of this already. Can I see a little bit more about this? You're having to make a decision here. As you can see, it could very much be to do with movement because we have keys at the bottom here. Or giving responsibilities to other people to lessen your load. But the Hierophant card to me is really about checking, check your, check your commitments to things. What are your commitments? Have you taken on more than you could bargain for? Is that a saying? I'm sure it is. And what do we need to let go? Because it feels like you want movement and that's such a Sagittarius thing to be wanting to move. You're, you're getting ready to get up and go. Again, this is you acting like it, acting more in, in authority of your life, in more control. Yeah, hermit energy as well. Be careful of pessimism here, I'm just going to say, because we do have the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Make sure that you aren't doing something just because you're unhappy in that moment, okay? Um, if there is still love there, then I think it's worth, you know, what working on if it's on both sides of the party. Make sure you're not looking in too deeply. This is actually a really good time to actually vocalize how you feel to someone or to people okay okay blockages 
yeah so something is quite unfair here something isn't working out the way that you want it to yep okay a lot to do with toxic ties a lot to do with toxic people people who would rather you know take more than they can give out uh, and this is really defeating you here Sagittarius so it's very likely that you are needing to actually move away from this situation okay especially if there's an ending involved in this it's, it's defeating defeating you um, there is something in your routine that needs to go, whether it's like habits here with the devil card energy, whether it's like addictions of some kind, this could be to do with, you know, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, it could be to do with just toxic energies within you, negative mindsets, okay, anything like that, again, people here, um, be careful what you're feeding to is what I'm really saying, because again, um, there's something here about not seeing the bigger, the full picture, the full picture, and do I stay and work this out or do I go? Because the tower card is really about a falling out. Let me see what this is. Three of once there's a suggestion here to really kind of uh within this week to not make any rash decisions it's really about i guess like meditate contemplate okay um doing new things in your routine is good for you guys um uh, but whatever you choose to do there is going to be success behind it okay for a lot of you this is about letting go of something though but it's very different than that tower card it's very interesting because how you view it is probably going to be a lot worse than it actually will be if that makes sense because when you do take the risk when it's you know maybe something again that you've been waiting a while for once you actually take the action to move away from it once you vocalize what it is that you're thinking of doing is the moment that you're kind of getting praise for it is the moment that you take action on your goals and again get praise for it you're letting go of old things things that aren't needed anymore okay the full card energy is very minimal okay taking only the purest elements of what you need for success and you are going to be granted success we then have the three of cups which is already about com like i'm hearing communion like union is what i meant to say a uh, community as well finding happiness uh, in the company of other people and for a lot of you it could be socializing but there's an element here of, of waiting for something as well. So I feel like for some of you, there is movement moving forward. You are wanting to take more control, wanting to take more leadership. But this is a period of time where you're making a decision within this week and actually identifying the truth about someone, something, okay? Someone who carries this devil energy, um, understanding your commitments. And it feels like what's coming your way is going to be a lot greater than you kind of making these very quick decisions if that makes any sense to you Sagittarius yeah the high priestess who who knows but never says anything does that make sense you know intuitively you know meditation again very good for you yeah you don't need someone to tell you the truth someone's running away from the truth but you already know it maybe that's you running away from the truth it's time to really face up to what you know already Someone may have been deceptive, uh, deceitful for you to you, sorry, in the past. Or again, someone's taking more than they're giving back here. But this is really about you, not them, about you. Where can you find happiness? For some of you, this tower card is actually going to gift you this happiness, okay? So you aren't going to have to make a choice. If you are no longer happy somewhere in, in a relationship or in a career... then it is time to go but the ten of cups there is is to find and to find your happiness but the three of pentacles is just saying just wait a second because now it may be not the right time to make this move there's a need for patience but to understand yeah all right you're not in the right state for it all right when i say that you know how i said we're in that in-between stage it's kind of like you're in a very i always you're in a vulnerable stage right now of where um you're not quite the old you you're not quite the new you you're kind of in that in between stage making big decisions while you're in that in between stage means that you're still undeveloped for this new thing to come your way if that makes any sense so if you are going in a new relationship then this is just saying that you're still undeveloped for it because you're not yet in that true power of yours um 
so you're not quite ready when i say career same thing applies it's like you need to kind of step more into your power still do some inner work before you can really stand tall and really fixate on this plan because the foundations there are still a little bit rocky okay there's still a little bit rocky this is really about like it's making sure that you're leading yourself and not because that in between stage is kind of like up in the air energy it's really strange it's kind of like there's only two stages here but because you're in the middle you're kind of not there i really hope this makes sense spirit's really giving me a very like i can't understand it but i hope that you do to sum it up there's been deceit in the past there has been hurt there's a lot to do with temptation here um running away from the truth and uh you know not wanting to face up to something but the moment that you kind of really focus on your own energy and are, are willing to start to take risks is the more that we step into this leadership power sagittarius of owning it all right no longer feeling insecure about making these big, big decisions in your life and you know relying on other people to help you although asking people for help is important but relying on them um will not be needed when you reach this stage but within this week it's important to get advice especially if you're still in that creative like mode of building this plan i hope it makes sense for you guys okay let your friends help you so again same message here very soon so this could uh, yeah so we have engagement so in relationships it does feel like there will be some sort of proposal if someone wants to be in a relationship with you i can see that coming very soon um as you can see she's actually getting ready for a wedding i mean who knows you could be getting married uh, but very soon here is really is really about there is a new thing coming your way and this doesn't have to be to do with love it could just be an opportunity that's coming your way a proposal of some kind that's going to make you feel a lot higher that's going to elevate you okay and this will be worth waiting for which is probably why they're asking you not to make any rash decisions right now because the time will be right and when it is right you're going to step into that leadership role of having things things clicking back into place but this is a great time to mindset wise start to think about these new things and get ready for this plan we have a new romantic cycle begins so for a lot of you you will definitely find some sort of love okay north node so stepping outside your comfort zone very important stuff okay stepping into your higher purpose here you and your loved ones are safe cancerian energy okay so matters of the home people are going to be very safe okay maybe you're worried about them if you you know recently you've moved away from them okay so you're just saying that they are going to be safe now animal spirit card is the sandpiper spirit be playful okay let's have a little look so number 51 could be a good number for you we have sandpipers are like cute little clowns poking their beaks into the sand before darting off to chase the waves the appearance of sandpiper spirit is a sign that now is a time to engage your playfulness whatever tasks you have been you have before you perform them with a light lightness of being sorry explore the familiar discovering the new and the old who knows what treasures await you when you let yourself laugh and have fun sandpiper spirits happy and curious nature can help you to feel rejuvenated as you remember your ability to run and fly and dance playfully when your heart is heavy and life seems to weigh you down sandpiper spirit message is to lighten your burden by finding joy and humor in the everyday become like a playful child filled with filled with curiosity and wonder and soon you will find you feel your own spirit lift a few minutes or hours of fun-filled delight is exactly what you need now enjoy the ridiculous ridiculousness of life and be willing to jump in let your inner goof out to express itself with abandon so really about letting go of what other people believe you should do here um Sagittarius it's a very interesting message because they're actually asking you again being in that present moment to find happiness there and to not rush your process because although you are wanting to make a decision again it's not telling me why or what decision you're going to be making because it kind of feels like it's not yet set in stone 
but it also feels like for you guys you don't need to know the answer of it just yet and i think i said this to you last week um you don't need to know the answer of it just yet because right now they're asking you to be happy because whatever you are whatever decision you're trying to make it is calling for a big change in your life whether it's career whether it's home whether it's relationships it's going to cause a big change and it's going to cause uh, a lot more responsibility again stepping in that emperor role so what they're really asking for you now is like this is not something that you need to be making a decision of right as of yet uh, so instead use this time to move again for some of you going for walks might be good um, getting out there having fun if you can with the COVID-19 um, in order for you to not feel the weight of the world on your shoulders so soon when you could be having fun uh, Sagittarius you have a thing of running and jumping into different things anyway so this is really your energy so be you and you will find the crown will suddenly appear on your head when you are ready for it okay um, and it feels like it's going to pick you whatever this is it will pick you so the opportunity will come uh, you don't really need to look for it interesting just do some new things though as well that full card energy so that's all i have for you for this week i really hope it makes sense um i'm gonna go i'm gonna leave you to it uh, let me know if it did resonate and i will see you guys very soon